Segment 9. Control Panel, Speed and Force. Now let's get back to the home screen and see how to manage the Muse Vinyl Cutter's speed and force settings. From the home screen panel, touch the SPD FOR button to access the speed and force settings menu. Here you'll see a set of sliders similar to the RGB sliders on the LED menu. You can adjust the settings by touching and sliding the central slider bar or by pressing the plus or minus buttons at either end. The three slider bars are labeled US, VS, and FS. The US and VS settings control the cutting and moving speed. The FS settings control the cutting force. The two speed settings allow you to set different speeds for the movement of the tool carriage while the blade is lowered in cutting and the movement of the tool carriage when the blade holder is raised and moving from one path to another. US is the setting for speed while raised. VS is the setting for speed while lowered. Think of the US setting as up speed and the VS setting as vinyl speed. This is a productivity enhancing feature. If you're cutting an intricate graphic that requires you to cut the vinyl more slowly, you can speed up throughput by raising the US setting so that the blade moves more quickly from one element to another. Both the US and VS sliders offer a range of adjustment from 1 to 13. 13 equates to 24 inches per second or 60 centimeters per second. FS is of course the feature that controls the amount of downward force applied to the media by the tool carriage. The maximum force available on the Muse M15 and M24 is an impressive 800 grams. That's much more than is needed for cutting most vinyl graphics, so set this carefully. Cutting standard 3 mil calendared vinyl only requires about 90 grams of cutting force. The expression of force remains on a sliding scale from 1 to 160. 90 grams is approximately equivalent to 18 on the force scale. If you're not sure where to begin, Start with a low value and use the test function to perform a test cut and adjust from there. You may have noticed the load and save buttons at the bottom of the screen. The Muse can store and recall up to 8 presets with specific combinations of speed and force. These can be loaded, edited, renamed and saved. To make things easier we've added some presets for you to use. Touching the Load button accesses the Preset menu. There are two pages with four presets on each page. The preloaded presets include recommended settings for cutting Endura-Gloss and Holographic Vinyl, Caesar EasyWeed and Logical Color Warmpure Universal HTV, Oracal 651 and Enduralite Reflective Vinyl, and Chemica Hotmark 70 and Glittersoft HTV. To load any of these presets, just touch it to highlight the choice. Then touch Load to set those as the new cutting parameters. To edit the values on a preset, just load it to bring those values into the Speed Force screen. Change the values to suit your needs, then press the Save button. This will take you back to the Presets page. All the presets will be flagged in red. Touch the preset where you want to save the new values. That area will change to red to indicate that you are about to override the saved settings. Then touch Save to update the settings and return to the Speed Force screen. You can also rename the saved presets. This, along with the Save feature, allows you to completely customize the presets to suit your materials. To rename a preset from the Speed Force screen, Press Load to access the Presets menu. Touch to select the one you want to rename. Touch the Rename key at the bottom of the screen. The screen changes to a keypad with the existing name in the field at the top. Use the keypad to overwrite the name of the preset.
and press OK when you're done.